what you are seeing right now is not a game developed by Ubisoft Entertainment in the space of 5 years. This is just a game made in 5 minutes by yours truly only using one hand because the other hand is holding his voice recorder hey how's it going guys this is steven from steven gaming tv and welcome to your sixth i believe tutorial in the g develop tutorial series so today we are going to take a look at the event editor and how to add events how to use events and how to use the event editor because some of you do not even know what an event is and i'm going to teach you as if you were five years old before we continue i'm sorry if i said gems instead of gems i speak multiple languages and sometimes i confuse the words and use the wrong pronunciation so for now let's just um let's just close this we're gonna keep this open okay and we're gonna make a new game by creating clicking on the create new game icon at the top left right here we are gonna check on native empty project and create the new project over here okay so after you've done that you are going to right click and insert a new object we're gonna make this really quick okay i taught you how to use the spread it's door i taught you how to add movement etc so i'm not gonna teach you that anymore double click on planet cute and uh, if you haven't seen that double click over here on planet cute and choose one of these uh characters but i like this pink one the most and um, we're gonna drag that over here and the usual error then we are gonna click on this character and click on x to exit that and as always it shifts to this tab over here whenever i click on the x button so g develop team please fix that if you can this is some valuable feedback all right so right now we have our letter character over here the first thing we're gonna do is double click and add a movement by clicking on add a behavior and click eight directions top down movement then we are gonna go down and uncheck rotate object okay so now you can move the character around if you preview your game up here okay inside of the scene tab not gonna teach that all over again all right so right now we are gonna add the gems insert a new object as usual sprite go into your sprite bank planet cute again and we gotta choose a blue gem this time drag it down here get an error close this as usual and as usual the shifts that uh, tab again so right now what I want you to do is hold the shift key on your keyboard and resize this what that does is that it keeps the aspect ratio of the gem while you resize it because if you don't do that it's gonna you know squash etc i'm gonna undo that over here and seems like we have to uh redo our whole resizing again so right now you have our gem you have a gem you have your character and uh now what i want you to do is to hold the control key on your keyboard and just spread the gems around just as you want it you don't have to follow it exactly like i'm doing right here but it's always nice to follow your master you know right now you're gonna go into the events tab right here here is the moment of truth here is the event editor how many times am i gonna have to explain this all over again but the events is where you add the game mechanisms it's where you had it's where you add uh, it's where you program your game it's where you program if a player dies if he touches a lava if a player dies if he touches a spike if uh, the game restarts when the player collects all gems etc etc so you're gonna add an event by clicking on add an event up here and you are gonna have these two things on the left is what you call 
what is called a condition okay another le another right is what is called a an action a condition is something that asks when and a an action is something that asks what to do when that thing is uh, met so a condition always compares two things if and if it's true or something like that then it sends an action it executes an action for example i'm going to give an example of a condition when the player shoots a bullet and the condition uh, and uh, he wants to kill the enemy so the condition would be when the bullet collides with the enemy that is a condition and the action is something like kill the enemy that is an action destroy the enemy that is an action check in if a bullet collides with an enemy is a condition and killing the enemy is the action okay another example would be if the player presses the enter button or yes if the player presses the escape button that is a condition okay the action would be quit the game quitting the game would be the action okay that is how events work inside of gdevelop but i know that you do not like theory you came here to watch a video not a lecture this is a tutorial not a lecture so let's jump straight ahead and make an example so just click on add a condition on the left right here select uh, sprite collision okay sprite collision collision pixel perfect object one and object two so this compares this checks if two objects are colliding with each other okay so right now just click over here and select that pretty girl which is called new object and then object 2 select this gem which is called new object 2 and click on ok so this pretty much checks if new object if the uh, actually let's rename these two let's name her something like uh, pinku since uh, she has pink hair i hope the g develop team changes her name to that because i think that she's the mascot of g develop and let's change the name of this to gem okay so you have the gem and you have the girl if pinku is in collision with gem pixel perfect then we're gonna add an action if she's colliding with the gem we're gonna add an action and that is to destroy the gem to make the player think that the player is collecting gems but actually is destroying them but you don't tell them that or they won't play your game so go to all objects objects delete an object and then over here select gem so how does it know which gem to delete when the player is colliding with one gem the thing is that if the player is colliding with one gem and you delete the gem it's gonna always choose the one that is uh, close the one that is in question okay the one that is currently being evaluated so if this is colliding with this and you say uh, and you tell the computer to delete one gem it's gonna delete the one that is uh that is checking for a condition and that is this one gem okay so you uh you cannot wait to jump you cannot wait to see the results so let's go on ahead and preview the game by clicking on launch preview over here and use your glorious arrow keys to move your character around and when you touch the game you can see that the games are disappearing yeah and after you've collected all of the games you don't know what to do with your life so you just stop the preview and that is pretty much how the event editor works so that is what an event is that is what an event is used for but we're not gonna stop right here i'm still gonna so just some things inside of this uh for example if you want to add a new condition after you uh you have added an event over here there is a small plus menu over here and you can add a new condition if you want to add another event 
I meant event not a condition so you click on the right right here okay below the stuff you can add more events down here you can even add a sub event maybe we'll make a tutorial for when that is useful later on you can add a C++ code oh my god a comment for each object to uh, select um, to go through each object or something like that a group of events a repeat a standard a while if you know programming you will surely know what these mean and when you add a condition and you cannot for the sake of it find uh, the name of that condition that uh, was inside of your head for example if you did not find collision or deleting an object you can just go down here uh, I mean down here and type delete delete uh, actually let's let's not do that uh, for example collision collision okay and after you just typed call it already showed you the collision and collision pixel perfect over here so that's pretty much how you find something if you do not find it right away inside of this because chances are that you are just beginning in G develop and you do not know by heart the the order of all of these conditions you can also invert the condition why would somebody need to invert the condition that is because sometimes you want to check if the player is not colliding with something okay for example if the player is not colliding with a bullet uh, no, 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 that's actually a very bad example. If the player is not colliding to the ground, he cannot press jump anymore. So he cannot jump in mid air, something like that, okay? So that is pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope you learned a lot. Please slap me if you didn't. And like if you liked it, dislike if you disliked it as usual. And subscribe if you want to. I'm not gonna force you. And check the next set of tutorials. I'm gonna make a video upon a request in the next tutorial. So thank you.